Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a topic related to interposition. Now we will solve a third type of a typical problem based on Newton's forward interpolation formula. Question is, determine the number of students obtained marks between 40 to 45 from the following table. Here we have given marks range that is in between 30 to 40, how many students, in between 40 to 50, how many students, such kind of data has been given. Now, while solving such kind of numerical, we have to write it as, as we have to find, as we have to find number of students less than 45, number of students less than 45, we have to prepare or we have to rearrange data, we have to rearrange data. Now why we are going uh, to this particular way, why we are going in this direction, because we have to find it out number of students in between 40 to 45, means we have to find it out how many number of students have got marks less than 45. So now how to modify this table, let me take this as a x variable, this as a y variable. So what I will do, in between 30 to 40 we have 31 students means what? Less than 40, how many students are there? 31. Less than 50, how many students are there? 31 plus 42 which will be equal to 73. Less than 60, le less than 60. How many students will be there? So if you see for less than 60, it will be 31 plus 42 plus 51, it will be 124 students. Then here less than 70, how many students will be there? 31 plus 42 plus 51 plus 35, so we will get 159 students. Then less than 80, how many students will be there? Sum of all, that is 31 plus 42 plus 51 plus 35 plus 31. So you will get it as 190. So let me take this value as x0, x1, x2, x3, x4. And we will have this value as y0, y1 y2, y3 and y4. As it is expected to find it out how many number of students have got marks in between 40 to 45 or in other words we can say that less than 45 which will lie at initial uh, position of a table. So here we will be using forward difference table. So this is the reason why we are using forward difference operator. So what is h? h will be equal to x1 minus x0 which is equal to 10. We have to find it out marks in between 40 to 45 means in other words we can say that the students who got marks less than 45. So therefore value which is to be interpolated x will be equal to 45. Then we know what is the formula of p, p will be equal to x minus x0 divided by h which is equal to what? 45 minus 40 divided by h is 10. So you will get this answer as a 0.5. But before applying a formula, first what we have to do? We have to prepare a table. So let me prepare a table which will be a forward difference table. So x and y value. So we will have first is 40, then 50, next will be 60, then 70 and Okay, let me draw this table first. We will complete this table and then after that we will substitute values. So here you will have from the above table whatever we have modified. 31, then 73, then next will be 124, this will be 159 and this will be 190. So we have to prepare a table. So it will be what? Del of y. So what is your del y0? 73 minus 31. So if you do it, 73 minus 31, 
you will get answer as a 42. Del Y1 will be equal to 124 minus 73, which will be equal to 51. Del Y2 will be equal to 159 minus 124, which will be equal to 35. And del Y3 will be equal to 190 minus 159, which is equal to 31. Next column will be for del square of Y. So del square of Y0 will be equal to 51 minus 42, which is 9. Then del square Y1 will be equal to 35 minus 51, which will be equal to minus 16. And del square Y2 equal to 31 minus 35 which is minus 4. So, this will be your del square y. Next is, we have to find it out del cube of y. So, del cube of y0 will be equal to minus 16, minus 9, so which will be minus 25. Then, del cube of y1 will be equal to minus 4, minus of minus 16, so you will get it as a 12. And, uh, but obvious, del raised to 4 y, it will be what? Del raised to 4 y0 which is equal to 12 minus of minus 25. So, you will get it at 37. Now, which values will be required here uh, in a calculation? So, this will be your x0. So, you will require to have this value y0. Then this del y0. Then del square y0. After that, del cube of y0. And del raised to 4 of y0. So, these values will be required. So, let me write here formula. Now, already we have gone through, we have derived this formula for Newton's uh, forward interpolation formula. So, y equal to y0 plus p into delta y0 plus p into p minus 1 upon 2 factorial delta square y0 plus p into p minus 1 p minus 2, p minus 3, sorry, not a p minus 3, it will be up to p minus 2 only because we are talking about first or third term, del cube of y0 plus p into p minus 1, p minus 2, p minus 3 divided by 4 factorial del raised to 4 of y0. Already we have calculated what is the value of P. Now we know all the values, so I will just substitute it. Y equal to Y0 is 31 plus 0 0.5 into del Y0 which is into 42 plus 0 0.5 into bracket 0 0.5 minus 1 upon 2 factorial means 2. Del square Y0 is 9 plus 0.5 into 0.5 minus 1, 0.5 minus 2 upon, this will be your 3 factorial which is equal to 6. So, here you have to what? It, uh, it will be into del cube of y0. What is del cube of y0? It is minus 25 plus 0.5 into 0.5 minus 1, 0.5 minus 2 and 0.5 minus 3 divided by, if you see, it will be 4 factorial which is equal to 24 into, then this will be your 37. This term means what? Del raised to 4 y0. So, if you solve it term by term, you will get it as 31. If you do a multiplication of this term, you will get 21. Next term will be minus 1.125, you do it with the help of calculator, definitely you will get these answers, minus 1.5625 and the last term we will get answer as minus 1.4453. So, if you see, you will get answer as 47.8672. So, 47.86, it is nearly equal to what? it is nearly equal to 48. So, therefore, now, what to do here, I will write it as, this is very important state, number of students less than, number of students less than 45 marks will be what? It will be 48. But in a question, 
it is asked to find it out total number of students in between 40 to 45 so i will write it as number of students less than 40 marks so if you observe how many students have uh, marks less than 40 marks if you see uh, for uh, uh, if you see for the students having uh, he, he, let me see here uh, marks 40 it will be what it will be 31 please see it. okay the students having marks 40 how many number of students are there 31 so here it will be 31 and what we have to find it out we have to find it out number of students number of students who got who got marks in between 40 to 45 so just what we have to do here we have to do 48 minus 31 so you will get answer 17 this 17 indicates that these are the number of students who got marks in between 40 to 45 and this is what is the question which was asked so this is the solution of this problem if you have any doubt please feel free to ask any problems thank you one time